Okay, so I have a beam here. It's got a moment, a couple at the point A, and then a load at um, right at the center at C, and I want to find the deflection at, at point C. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to use that uh, appendix to figure out the deflection. Now, for the uh, force at the middle, okay, the maximum deflection will be at the center, so I can use this equation right here to determine what that deflection is at the middle. Uh, I'm going to add that to the um, moment. Now that won't necessarily occur at the middle. You see that occurs at 0.577, the maximum. So I'm going to need to use this equation right here uh, to figure out uh, what the deflection is at 12 feet, which is the center of that. So again, what I'm essentially doing here is I'm taking a simply supported beam and I'm breaking it up into two pieces. I'm going to break it up into that, and I'm going to add to it that. Okay, and I'm going to find the deflection of each and add them to it. Right. So for that first one, my deflection at C is negative p uh, l cubed. So p is going to be twelve thousand. Okay, l is going to be twenty-four. But I want that. I want everything in inches, right? Everything in pounds and inches. So 24 times 12 cubed divided by 48 e. Okay, this is steel. So e is 29 times 10 to the 6 psi. You can look that up in the back of the book, uh, and then you can actually look up i for the 1245 uh, steel. Um, and for that, I get uh, 350. That'd be inches to the fourth. So from that, the deflection just due to the 12,000 pounds is negative 0 0.588 inches. Okay. Now I need to do the same thing for the deflection at C due to the bending moment. So the velocity, I'm not not the velocity. I'm sorry. The deflection at C is going to be negative. 50,000 kip feet, so it'll be negative 50,000. I want to flip that to kip inches, so I'm going to take that times 12, okay? Uh, then times x, again, this is the location that I'm looking for, that's at 12 feet, but again, times another 12 to convert it to inches, so 144 inches, okay? Divided by 6 eil, so 6, e is 29 times 10 to the 6th. I, again, is 350. Again, I can look that up uh, in the other appendix for 1245 uh, wide flange beam. Uh, and then I have L, which is 24 feet. But again, I need to convert that to inches, so I take it times 12. Okay, And then that's going to be times uh, L squared minus X squared, which is going to be, I'm just going to cut 288 inches squared minus 144, and that's 24 times 12 and 12 times 12 to get everything in uh, inches. So calculating that, the deflection due to that moment at the midpoint is negative 0 0.306 inches. Now all I need to do is add those two together. That's how superposition works. Add those two together and get the total deflection due to these two loads of negative 0.8 nine five inches okay so you just break it up into pieces figure out what each load does and then add those two together